start with a slip knot. And chain 10. One single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And one single crochet in each and every stitch until the last stitch. Three single crochets in this last stitch. Now turn your work and start working on the other side. One single crochet in each and every stitch until the last stitch. And take this yarn and along with the working yarn. Three single crochets in this last stitch. And slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Next round, chain 1. This won't be counted as a stitch. One single crochet in the same stitch. Now one single crochet in each and every stitch. Once you reach then do not slip stitch. You will be working in continuous rounds. One single crochet in this first stitch. Now make one more round of one single crochet in each and every stitch. Mark this first stitch. Once you reach the marked stitch, make one single crochet over here. In the next stitch, make a long single crochet. Instead of inserting the hook into this stitch, insert a hook in the previous round, that is the below stitch. And make a single crochet. Next one single crochet. Now instead of inserting into this stitch, insert a hook in the below stitch from the previous round. One single crochet. Now repeat this all around. Now continue making the stitches all around until you reach the size which you need. Now here this is a long single crochet so here you will make one single crochet and this is a single crochet from the previous round here you will make a long single crochet. This is the stitch so you will insert your hook in this previous round. The next stitch one single crochet. This is how the pattern will look. This is how it will look. Start with chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch. And one single crochet in each and every stitch. Once you reach then chain one and turn your work. And one single crochet in each and every stitch. Repeat two more rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. The last round, chain one and turn your work. One single crochet in each and every stitch until you reach the middle. This is the middle stitch. Chain 10. And one single crochet in the same stitch. 
this is the button which I'm using and check if the button is going through. You can adjust this loop according to the button which you're using. One single crochet in the remaining stitches. And weave off your yarn. Now using a yarn needle, sew the button over here. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.